Motherfucker. Too much performance art, not enough prose for me. But I think I get the idea. Violent poetry. The best tool to convey your disillusionment with the system. Y'all had your own insight into the deep rot, ain't that right? Albeit from different vantage points. The police station on one side, the sitcom set on the other. FWIW? None of us expected what this low rank police quest would turn into. A straight up suicide mission for the good of the family. Ugh. Why does this precinct even allow these air ducts to be so big? Absolutely crazy. Maybe they fantasized about using them McLean style one day during a Soviet invasion or something. Whatever, I have a job to do. So, without further ado, General Bob, I have managed to infiltrate the enemy area. Commencing mission.
Files, stakeouts, evidence? OMG, OMFG, they're on to us. They're totally on to us. I... I have to do something about this, but... What? General Bob, this mission has just turned into a suicide mission, but I ain't gonna back down. This time, it's personal. God, I did it! I totally did it! I saved all of our asses! I'm like Kevin McNick meets John McLean, and I'm cool as hell, and... I was scared as hell, and I never want to do it again. But I will never admit to it. No way in hell. I will make them all bow to Queen Viper. ISTM, you've yet to thank me for saving your asses. LOL. I'll let that one slide, but you need to step up your game. Okay, time out, folks. I'm sensing some unresolved issues and unnecessary resentments. Oh my, what gave you the hint? Chainsawed furniture? I wanted a nice evening to close this chapter of our lives. Kick back, laugh, reminisce. Oh, I see. And that's why you caused Hal to have Vietnam flashbacks about... you know where? Guys, I make mistakes, but do you doubt that I always have your best interest in mind? <laughs> 